Hey, Tony Policastro here of the Old Town School of Folk Music here in Chicago. I should actually say formerly from the Old Town School of Folk Music. I'm actually here for the Fretboard Summit and uh, checking out some really cool banjos in the shop. And one of the things I wanted to talk about right now is how different banjos actually do sound. I think maybe a common misconception is that, oh, it's a drum head with strings on it and they all sound brash and they all sound weird. But that's just not true. Uh, case in point, these three banjos next to me. This first one you're gonna hear is made by Adam Kreffman. He's here uh, in Illinois, Oak Park, Illinois, and he's approaching it more from an old timey style. Different kind of tension hoops that surround uh, the circular drum head to draw tension on the head. And uh, I think you'll notice that this one's a rather tubby sound. It has uh, kind of, think of it as round pillowy notes. Let's check it out. The next one we're gonna take a look at is from Dogwood Banjos. Now this is considerably different on a number of levels. And number one, the head is bigger. The one that you just heard, the Kreffman, is 10 and 3 quarters. This head on this particular banjo is 12 inches. So you're gonna get that full bass, you're gonna get that pillowy sound, but it has a brass hoop tone ring. So that's gonna bring in some clarity. Although it's a bigger drum head, you should expect bigger bass, but it's gonna be more of a, a confined and articulate bass. Let's give it a listen. The final banjo we're gonna have a look at is a Pisca. It's also a 12 inch head. However, it has a different tone ring system. It's a white lady tone ring system. So it's more of a scalloped tone hoop, rather a scalloped backing to a round tone hoop. And it offers a considerable amount of articulation. So you're gonna get some of the same articulation you got from the dogwood, but amped up like 10 times. You have strong, plunky notes, very articulate, very crispy, and the decay's a little bit quicker. So if you're looking for clarity, this is the type of banjo you're gonna to wanna to play. And that being said, let's give it a play.